Hi, I'm Pavla Per, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Ecomap Technologies. At Ecomap, we make platforms that enable people to navigate ecosystems, whether that is a small business community or an entire industry, because we believe that everybody should have access to the information about what is going on around them. Within an ecosystem, there are a ton of different resources people can tap into, things such as funding for their business or educational programs to help them get involved in tech. But it's so hard to access information about those. To be honest, running this company has been harder than I ever imagined, but um, it makes me feel so excited every single time we launch a new platform because we get to see the thousands of people who are using it to find the information that they need in their community. Baltimore not only has so many amazing underlying assets from all of our talent to the different organizations, it's also an underestimated city. There are so many people here who really want to see our city grow and that energy invigorates us as a company. It is with great sadness that we bring you the unfortunate news of the passing of Pavel Lapier. Pavel was the founder of a Baltimore tech startup named Ecomap. The company has published a statement saying, it is with profound sadness and shock that Ecomap announces the tragic and untimely passing of our beloved founder and CEO, Pava Lapierre. The circumstances surrounding Pava's death are deeply distressing, and our deepest condolences are with her family, friends, and loved ones during this incredibly devastating time. Pava was not only the visionary force behind Ecomap, but was also a deeply compassionate and dedicated leader. Her untiring commitment to our company, to Baltimore, to amplifying the critical work of ecosystems across the country, and to building a deeply inclusive culture as a leader, friend, and partner set a standard for leadership, and her legacy will live on through the work we continue to do. As a team, and on behalf of our customers and the Ecomap community, we are devastated by this loss and we pledge our unwavering support to the Lapeer family as they navigate this heartbreaking period. We would also like to express our gratitude to the authorities and emergency services for their efforts and professionalism. We understand the public's interest in this story, but we kindly ask for privacy and respect as we grieve and process this unimaginable tragedy. In the coming days, we will share more about the ways we intend to honor Pava's memory and legacy. Pava Marie Lapierre had earned a spot on a Forbes Under 30 list earlier this year. She was reported missing since late Monday morning according to city police and announced dead on Tuesday morning by police officials, who say she suffered from blunt force trauma. Public records suggest Lapierre was living at the apartment complex where her body was found and a suspect has already been arrested announced in the ongoing case at a news conference Tuesday evening. Police say Jason Billingsley, 32, was paroled last October in an earlier sex assault case and the court records reveal he pleaded guilty to a first-degree sex assault in 2015. Officials say that they have no reason to believe Lapierre knew Jason Billingsley, the public defender's office, which represented Billingsley in the past, told the Associated Press on Tuesday evening that it is too early for them to comment on this case. Our deepest condolences go out to the family and friends of Pava, thank you for watching.